Good morning, Beulah family. Great to be with you to share today's devotion. I'm just going to ask Naya a question as we think around a uh, particular subject. Uh, Naya, what is loneliness, do you think? Um, I think loneliness is when you don't have someone with you and you can't share anything with them. Okay, so often that's a, a common perception is that um, loneliness is a, a sense of being just on your own, maybe not having anyone else around you. The truth is, is that loneliness is more a state of mind and a state of feeling. Uh, you could be surrounded by a whole crowd of family, friends, but you can feel incredibly alone. And loneliness tends to be a sense of not being wanted, uh, a sense of not being known, um, and a sense of, of aloneness as well. Uh, and so all those feelings can certainly happen and come all at once or at different points. Um, and certainly during this time, during lockdown, it's very easy to experience bouts of loneliness. Even if you're in with a family or with a partner uh, or with someone, uh, you can still feel incredibly alone. Uh, and just that lack of connection, perhaps with friends and other people around you can still cause those feelings. As Christians, we have a strong place to go to to identify with those feelings. In Isaiah 53, it says this, He, talking about Jesus, was despised and rejected by mankind, a man of suffering and familiar with pain. Like one from whom people hide their faces, he was despised, and we held him in low esteem. So, when we feel lonely and we're feeling a bit unwanted and everything else, we as Christians can go to the cross and we see Jesus being alone, rejected and on his own for us. And what that does is it gives us a place where we can identify with those feelings and also an example to lead us through because what Jesus did was he prayed to his father when he was on the cross, Psalm 22, cried out to, to, to his heavenly father to meet with him in his most desperate of moments um, but also I think that gives us an, a, a more practical example as well that when we are feeling um, the sense uh, of unwantedness and, and isolation inside us and maybe even practically that we uh, break that habit of being uh, enclosed and sometimes they went, daddy went through a very bad period of being uh, lonely once um, and what you do is you, you self-protect and you shut yourself off from talking with anyone or asking for help. And actually Jesus' example is we ask God for help, but also it's good to talk and be open and honest with others, um, especially if we're struggling during this time. Well, it's really good to pray. I'm going to pray for you and uh, pray for God's encouragement, particularly if you're feeling lonely or if you're aware of anyone who's lonely, then it's that opportunity for us as brothers and sisters in Christ to support one another, to be there and to be thinking of other people and maybe making that really important phone call. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, that as we look on the cross, we see, uh, Lord, you in that place of being despised, of being rejected. And Lord, you did that for us. Uh, Lord, not just to feel us in a sense of loneliness, um, but Lord, to walk with us in the pain of all that we go through. And Lord, to reach the very depths of our hearts in that pain. So Lord, for anyone who's feeling lonely, who's really struggling today, Lord, for whatever reason, I pray, Father, for... Uh, those words of Psalm 22, Lord, that in the despair that you, Heavenly Father, would reach in and comfort and guide and protect. And pray, Lord, for those God moments that people would call uh, and uh, rescue and connect. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.